Hallmark is known for its romantic flicks, but these movies showcase some of the best and most memorable kisses we've ever seen. Trust me, you're gonna wanna hit the replay button time and again. Wedding planner Jessica Perez travels to a remote town in Alaska to find a rare flower for a celebrity client and is charmed by the small town during Christmas, as well as the handsome local helping her. Jessica's client is Renee, a global pop star who's big all over the world. Think Taylor Swift, but with unnecessary fuss. Why do I say this? Because Renee is being a bit of a diva and changing her flower order at the last minute. She wants the rarest flower of them all, the Jingle Bell. Honestly, I'm not even sure if that's a real flower, but it sounds festive. Luckily, there's a tiny town in Alaska called Holden Farms that may have what she wants. So with the wedding just two weeks away and a London promo on the line, Jessica hops on a plane to Tapisa, Alaska. But before she can even get started, her vending machine cookies get swiped. Seriously, who steals cookies from a vending machine? But let's not get sidetracked. Enter Matt, a guy who helps his Aunt Mary out at Holden Farms. Is Matt the key to helping Jessica get out of this jam? Watch Jingle Bell Bride to find out. Every time I looked at them, it made me scream. Just kiss already. And they did. It was a slow burn worth waiting for. See for yourself. Ronnie Rowe Jr. and Julie Gonzalo are a refreshing lead pair, and they made my sappy heart swoon. Their chemistry is nothing short of magical. Next up, Autumn Reeser and Andrew Walker were perfect for each other in 27 Hour Day. Their chemistry was off the charts, and this chemistry sizzled into a passionate kiss, giving most singles some major FOMO. Autumn played the role of Lauren Garrett, a successful businesswoman who loves nothing more than running her corporate business. She's always busy and she doesn't have time for much else, not even a simple afternoon off to go get a manicure. Lauren is passionate about helping women make the most of their day, and she's got a popular podcast and other successful parts of her business that keep her busy. But she's always on the lookout for what's next. And when a new business opportunity comes crashing, she decides to take a break. Her assistant finds a remote place in Montana where Lauren can unplug from the world and take some time out for herself. It starkly contrasts her usual corporate world, but Lauren is ready for the challenge. As soon as she arrives, Lauren meets Jack West. Enter the charming Andrew Walker. And this stud co-owns the place where she's staying. Jack is looking to expand, and Lauren is immediately intrigued by his vision. She sees wide open spaces and a small little pink pet pig, and she can't help but be charmed by it all. Over the next few days, Lauren spends time exploring the area and getting to know Jack better. She learns about his plans for the future, and she finds herself drawn to his vision of a life that's not focused solely on work. As the week goes on, Lauren begins to see things in a new light. She starts to realize that there's more to life than just work, and she begins to question whether her current lifestyle is what she really wants. Will Jack be her answer? Speaking of Andrew Walker, his on-screen romance with Nikki Deloach and Sweet Autumn keeps us all gushing. They are such great pals, and their natural chemistry and banter have led to many wonderful TV movies together. They've been friends since they first met in 2016 while filming A Dream of Christmas for the channel. It was really cool because we hit it off immediately over our kids as we were both new parents, shared Walker with People Magazine. Nikki adds, My son Hudson was just over a year old and I was trying to figure everything out still. You were a brand new dad. I was just in a numb state of shock, jokes Walker, but we just clicked like two peas in a pod. We have a lot in common. Nikki agrees, saying that she felt an instant connection with Walker, which they sealed with a beer and wings hangout at the start of filming. It felt like I'd known him my whole life, says Nikki. There's just an ease with Andrew. Not everyone has that. They also have befriended each other's partners. Andrew said that Nikki called him one weekend asking for a favor. Andrew, I hate to have to ask this, but my husband's coming to town and we were supposed to be in Hawaii right now. He took two weeks off work and I convinced him to come to Winnipeg, but he's not too thrilled about it. Are you doing anything fun this weekend because I have to work? To this, Andrew replied, well, I happen to get extra tickets to the football game. It's Canadian football, but it's still pretty good. Andrew continues, I suggested we meet up for a beer before the game since I'd never been to the stadium before. We had a great time getting to know each other. Fast forward to the second half of the game and I had her husband, Goodell, in a headlock and we were both screaming at the game. We had an instant connection and ended up watching more football and the night just kept going. The next morning, Nikki called me and said, what did you do to my husband? The Hallmark favorites truly love each other's company. This translates to the tender sweet kisses shared between Maggie and Dex and Sweet Autumn. I don't see many of those. Nothing says romance like Tyler Hines and Aaron Krakow convincingly pretending to be in love. 
They shared one of the steamiest, most passionate kisses ever on It Was Always You. Erin plays Elizabeth, a super organized bride-to-be who loves making lists to plan her perfect wedding. They take a break from their busy lives to visit George's family, where they have a birthday celebration for his mom and their own engagement party. But things start to get complicated when Elizabeth sees David, George's free-spirited brother who she's known since childhood. David has been traveling and living his life with no real plans to settle down, but being home and seeing Elizabeth again reminds him of things he thought he'd forgotten. As George gets stuck on the other side of town due to terrible weather, Elizabeth spends more time with David and begins to question her life choices. Eventually, Elizabeth tells David that it's not going to work out and surprisingly, he takes it well, probably because he's been having some flirty moments with his assistant, Denise. Fast forward a year later, Elizabeth has been exploring Italy, France, and England, and she's back in town to attend George's sister's engagement party. And guess who she meets there? David, of course. What's with running on to old flames at parties? Anyway, this is where the most heart-melting scene takes place. David shows her a note that he wrote as a lovesick 13-year-old. Yep, he's been in love with her since then. Aw, Elizabeth is swooned. Tyler brings his charisma in delivering one of the sweetest romantic monologues leading up to a passionate kiss and a slow dance. Ah, I can feel the fireworks. Can you? Up next, Jen Lilly and Ryan Pavey are a picture-perfect couple in Harvest Love. Widowed surgeon Luna visits her family's pear orchard in hopes of taking a break from her hectic life and reconnecting with her distant son. Once there, she begins to fall for the farm manager, Will, who is growing a new hybrid pear. Luna is a busy doctor who has thrown herself into work and neglected to spend quality time with her son since her husband died. To reconnect, Luna brings her son Andy to the Gilson family farm. It is neglected and run down, but turns out to be taken care of by a handsome and aspiring farm owner, Will Nash. Will works on the farm and can't live up to its full farm potential because of the recession. Luna isn't too concerned about Will being on the farm because she will only be in town for a week. But during that week, she spends more and more time with Will, who steps up and shows her son around too. Lily and Pavey are so distractingly beautiful, the more that I watched them, the more that I felt like I was the third wheel. So it was no surprise that their kissing was super dreamy. Next, meet Avery, a talented and insightful advice columnist known for her ability to give thoughtful guidance on the toughest of issues. To help her keep her personal life separate from her job, she always wears a mask while working, which gives her a sense of safety in an often unpredictable world. But one Valentine's Day, Avery finds herself in a vulnerable position when her own heart is shattered. Despite her pain, she manages to put on a brave face and provides compassionate response to a reader who is also struggling in her own relationship. However, things take a turn when Avery is asked to write a series of All Things Valentine columns. And by the way, that happens to be the title of the movie as well. One reader takes issue with her advice and starts leaving critical comments on her article. As Avery tries to ignore the skeptic, she meets Brendan, a charming veterinarian who has also gone through a tough breakup. As they navigate their own issues with Valentine's Day, they discover that they have much to learn about themselves and each other. Samuel Page and Sarah Rafferty have an undeniable chemistry. The longing, the yearning, the romantic tension, and the buildup before the actual lip lock was so satisfying to watch, resulting in a kiss that is tender, soft, and very, very hot. And this reminds me of another classic, where everything about Allie and Maximilian's relationship, including their kiss, was sweet enough to make you cry. Kimberly Sustad and Rupert Penry Jones make an unbeatable pair in Crown for Christmas. Allie gets fired from her job as a maid at a fancy hotel in New York City. But don't worry, things start looking up for her when she gets invited to be the governess to Princess Theodora, who is a bit of a troublemaker and likes to get her help fired. However, Allie can see that Theodora is just looking for attention. The King of Winshire, who lost his parents at a young age and is struggling with the same issues they had, is desperate to avoid making the same mistakes as his father, but he's too busy with work to notice he's going down the same path. Allie brings a breath of fresh air into the stuffy royal household, and her cheerful personality and lack of formal manners start rubbing off on everyone around her. Theodora starts acting her age and having fun with Allie, playing in the snow and exploring bugs, and it seems like the king is really taken with this American girl. You can tell he's completely enamored. This kiss scene was so iconic. True. And I know this is love. So which of these scenes made your heart melt? 
and which kiss scene did we miss? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's content, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Your support means everything to us and allows us to keep making these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.